Hi, this is Don Clark from FileMakerProGurus.com and FM Database Consulting. I just wanted to share a little trick that I found uh, from Excelsis. Doug West over there wrote this, I guess, or discovered this, invented it um, last year and was showing it off at DevCon 2016. And he shared it, and Excelsis shared it uh, with everybody else and with a free downloadable file that you can uh, you can get over here at sales at Excelsis. It's also linked in my, my website at filemakerprogurus.com. I wanted to show up because it's such a neat little trick. Everybody's always asking for a portal entry in their data at the top of a portal as opposed to the bottom. Now, most FileMaker developers know that when you have a portal and you get you will go into a managed database and look at a relationship in here, you can choose the ability to uh, allow creation of records in this table via this relationship. Um, and that puts the window at the bottom or a little portal row at the bottom and normally that's where you would add it and that's kind of inconvenient when you got a full portal there for people to be able to do that. They got to scroll down to it. So having the portal row at the top is pretty neat. Um, this is the cleanest example of, of doing this that I've ever seen. So he just uses one relationship. This is really only one table. Let's go back into here for just a second. Here's your data table. This is the data table as well. The relationship is very simple between uh, a constant and a foreign key inside the table. You could do it between a constant and uh, you know a foreign key in another table as well. But the secret to this lies in the fact that there's two portals on this with the same table occurrence. One's using a filter and the other one's not. It's just sorting. So let's take a look at it. We have on here, this is the comments field right here from the self auto create, the right side of the relationship. Here's the portal behind it, and it's just one row portal. Show one row, filter the portals, put in a zero here, and with the file maker, that's a trick that shows, tells it to show no records in the relationship. And over here, a couple of things he's got built in uh, with conditional formatting, so you can't see it. Uh, and that's conditional formatting, but just a hidden hide when. Um, if there's a, a value in here, these things show up. Okay, when you leave the field, so it's a, it's a script trigger that's set on that. Um, a correction that's not a script trigger. Uh, it's just when you leave the field, um, it shows up because there's a, a value put in there. So if we look at this. And our inspector over here is empty self auto create the comment. So once you tab out of it, it's no longer empty. It show those those uh, buttons show up. This one deletes it with a simple uh, with dialog delete the script or delete the uh, row. And this one just commits the record with a single step and no dialog. So let's go ahead and browse back into this. Oh, this one down here. Um, sorts the records and shows the newest one first. Okay, so we have all that going on. Very simple layout, not going to save those changes. So we say, you know, thanks uh, to Doug West and Excelsis. And I misspelled it. There we go. When I hit the tab key, it goes over and you can see these are the two buttons that appear. I click that when it commits it. I can also enter, you know, something like test record. And if I hit the enter key, it does the same thing, tab key. If I hit the enter key, that's as opposed to the return key on my keyboard, uh, it does automatically just enter it. And that's what happened there. I just click that instead of clicking a button. So there's two ways you can program it, uh, have it set up automatically, do this kind of thing. That's a neat little trick. I appreciate the fact these guys uh, released it into the wild here and uh, thought it was good enough that it warranted a little extra attention by a video. Thanks, Doug West and Excelsis.